Merry Christmas, Vibrant Church. Merry Christmas. Lena and I hope that you are having a great day with your friends and family. Hey, listen, just a quick reminder that next Sunday, December the 31st, will be online only. We want to give our team some rest during the holiday season, and we'll be back together for first Wednesday on January the 3rd when we launch our 21 Days of Prayer. Listen, you just heard a great Christmas song entitled The First Noel. It means the first Christmas in French, and I love Christmas music, and our kids are in love with Christmas music right now. In fact, every time we get in the car, they're like, let's play. What does Lily, Lily like? Lily wants to hear Jingle Bell Rock. Well, what does she call it? Dingle Bell Rock. <laughs> yeah, she goes, can I hear Dingle Bell, Dingle Bell, Dingle Bell Rock? So she always, <laughs> it's ridiculous. But uh, this particular song, The First Noel, reminds me so much of when I was growing up as a kid, uh, and just makes me think of our family tradition. I'm sure you got some family tradition as well. But growing up at my house, we always came together. And first and foremost, you can't gather if you don't have food. Come on, somebody say amen. And so uh, we would have a bunch of food. And then after some time of eating, we would, uh, dad would get us all in the living room. And uh, then he would make us all sing. We're like six, seven, eight years old. And he would make us all sing Joy to the World, Maybe we would sing uh, Silent Night or Come Let Us Adore Him, but he would often sing the first Noel. And if you've, you know, my dad, he like, he got like a spotlight on him in the living room. <laughs> and he's singing with all his might. And we're all sitting there just looking at him like, can we please open the gifts already? And then after that, he would make us all read the Christmas story from the King James Bible. And uh, we were just kids and dad would pick one of us to read from Luke chapter number two. And when again, when you're like six or seven years old and dad's like, all right, read it, Ethan, or I'm gonna whip you. And I'm like, okay, so I'll be trying to read the Christmas story from Luke chapter two, and, and it was crazy. And, and then finally, after we have eaten and we have had a John Boggs concert, and then we've and then we've read the entire New Testament in the King James Version, we would then pass out gifts finally we're getting there, we're getting close to the moment. Uh, dad would then make us pray, and dad would have us like tell each other what we're thankful for. Again, when you're a little older, it, it doesn't feel so bad, but when you're a kid, it's like total torture. And uh, we have some traditions in our house as well. Yeah, we like to make a gingerbread house. We've done that every year since we've been married. Yes, and then uh, when the kids came along, that made the gingerbread house making uh, kind of crazy sometimes. Yeah, we let them decorate it how they want. It doesn't look anything like the box, but yeah. that's okay. We did the Oreo house this year, and it was up for like 32 seconds. Yeah, as we were putting it together, the kids were licking everything. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was disgusting. So they took it apart after putting it together and yeah. ate, and the, the, kids ate love, the parts of the house. The kids love Christmas movies. Yeah. Uh, they love, uh, what movies do they love? Um, Home Alone seems to be their favorite. They it's, it's fun to see them laugh. It is, they belly laugh. On the scene, yeah. is it Marv or Harry that gets electrocuted in Home Alone 2? Which one, the tall one with the mm -hmm. curly hair? Is it Marv? I can't remember. Anyway, mm -hmm. gets well, electrocuted, Judah. yeah, Judah would know. This dies laughing every single time. And uh, we, yeah, those are good Christmas memories. And uh, you know, we've watched these movies so many times, we didn't realize, you know, there's a a few bad, bad words. words in these movies. We watch them on TV growing up. We didn't watch yeah. them on Netflix. And Netflix is like, you know, it's not. <laughs> well, Judah yep. picked up a word from Home Alone. That's what she's saying. I think she and, said the uh, word and blaming Marvin Harry. Oh, no, it was definitely Marvin Harry. <laughs> it was definitely the bad guys. So, but yeah, so we, we have had to tell him, you know, you can't say that word. But, and he's. He's cut that out of his vocabulary. He, he's so. given his life to Christ. He's straightening up. God has been good to him. So listen, dad and mom, when growing up like us, we, we try to do it with our kids. I try to always remind them the reason of why we're doing all this. And I know I joke about growing up in our house and, and, and what it was like. It was a lot of fun. It still is a lot of fun. But uh, dad and mom es essentially were uh, communicating to us that before we open our gifts, we need to remember the ultimate gift. And before we open our 
personal gifts, let's take some time to honor the heavenly gift. The 2,000 years ago divinity entered humanity and God sent his son to the earth to bring salvation, healing, and freedom to everyone who calls on his name. The Bible says in Matthew chapter number one, verse 23, behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Now listen, that's some really good news that God is with us. He will never leave you and he will never forsake you. That would be our reminder to you on this Christmas Eve day, that while you are having some get togethers, you're traveling, you're eating, you're laughing, you're just opening gifts, maybe you're singing songs and having a, a Christmas concert in your house, that we all take some time to honor the fact that he gave us the greatest gift of all on that first Noel, his son. He gave us new life, he gave us hope, he gave us healing, gave us joy. So at this time, wherever you are, whether you're in the kitchen making coffee or maybe you're sitting in the living room with your family gathered around, can you do me a favor? Can you join us in a moment of prayer? Father, we thank you for the Christmas story. We thank you for the first Noel. We thank you for your peace and we thank you for your joy. We thank you for your salvation. We thank you for your presence this Christmas that you are with us us. And Father, I pray that today we won't forget the reason for this season, your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, listen, from our families to yours, Merry Christmas.